Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Julie of Julie's Plans. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my plum paper hourly. Here's a quick look at last week. The only things that we didn't end up getting done are that I had to print out some pictures and I just haven't gotten to that just yet and then we haven't done our September budget. But overall, I love how this uh, week turned out. Some things ended up being moved around to different places, but I didn't feel like moving around the stickers. So here we are on this week, August 23rd through the 29th, and I'm going to be using a back to school kit from Planner Kate. I thought this one was just too freaking cute, and yes, yes, I'm doing a back to school <laughs> layout for my youngest starting college. I don't care what anyone thinks about that. I am excited for him. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I really love this kit. This one is 340 from Planner Kate, like I said. So I decided to get the sampler, the thick washi for the bottom, the date covers, and then this add-on right here that has a few more half boxes, appointment labels, and the um, vertical checklist. Um, she now does a plum paper. She may have been doing it for a while, but I wasn't using the plum paper vertical before, but there is a plum paper hourly and vertical option so that these will actually line up with the lines on the page for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the day covers. So good news. My bike came yesterday. Um, it was interesting. <laughs> So when I shared my experience briefly on Instagram yesterday, on Saturday, my delivery, it seems like other people's delivery people stayed and helped them set everything up and that just wasn't the case for me. Like I've never seen, okay, picture like the pit crew in the movie Cars, like that's how fast they were. <laughs> just coming in, putting the bike in our garage, and they were gone. They were at my house for less than five minutes. Well, I don't know if I was supposed to sign up for anything extra for them to help me with this setup, but that was not the case. Um, so if I missed out on that, I just wasn't aware. So where the confusion started was that I have already been using the Peloton app for several months, so I already had an account. Well, as I was setting up the bike on my own, I started to put in my information and I picked my current username. Like I was never asked on the screen if I had an account already. So long story short, it created two accounts with the same situation. I ended up needing to call our customer service, which by the way was an amazing experience. And yeah, they fixed it like within minutes. So fixed it as in, yes, the system created a second account, so they deleted one, and along with it went all of the people that I was following and um, the people that were following me, which wasn't a big deal. It was like 100 people, and I think I've pretty much gotten everyone back now <laughs> because I was just like, okay, if you were following me, I have disappeared, and now I am back. Um, so people had to like refollow me. Anyway, it's fine now. I did my first official ride. I need to go back to what happened last night though, <laughs> because there was a shoe situation and I am so sorry if Peloton chat or whatever bores you, but I have to talk about this. So uh, yeah, apparently there's a clipping in and clipping out process. <laughs> and I thought that I had an understanding of how to get my shoes in and out of the bike. Nope. Nope, I did not. I panicked and I got stuck and I quickly realized that I could just undo the straps and just remove my foot, right? But it was it was a solid three seconds of me feeling like, oh my God, I am literally latched onto this bike and this is how I die. Um, <laughs> so anyway, went to YouTube right away and there were definitely a lot of videos uh, explaining how to make the process a little bit easier <laughs> and how to not get stuck on your bike. I did have a lot of people message me saying, just, just leave the, um, the shoes on the bike. And I was like, I just can't, I don't trust it. My bike is in my garage. Absolutely not. I have this massive fear of a bug getting into my shoes. 
and then me putting my shoes or putting my foot in the shoe, like picture arachnophobia, right? Something like that. And then, you know, again, that's how I die. <laughs> it's, it's trying to uh, put on my bike shoes and something bites me and that's it, it's over. So <laughs> I was like, no, I really need to figure this out because there's no way in hell I'm leaving my bike shoes on the bike. It would make sense if we kept the shoes or kept the bike in the house. Oh my God, I can't put my words together. So anyway, that, that was day one. But this morning, I and I did watch a couple more videos again last night for a little bit, just to get a better understanding of the bike. You'd think that this is something I would have done before I bought the damn bike. <laughs> but no, no, I did not. And that's okay. Anyway. There were a lot of really like quick, helpful videos, like tips, like pros, cons, all that good stuff. So I felt this morning like I was in a bit of a better place. And I'm glad about that because I did a Hamilton ride. Like again, no one should be shocked about that. Uh, I need to grab my whiteout, which is right here. Um, and it, it was actually really, really great and slightly emotional. I was not prepared. Other people said they cried during their first ride or some rides. And I was like, what? Like, why would you cry? I get it now. I absolutely get it. <laughs> their instructors, the Peloton instructors in general are absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna, they're just so talented. So I'm excited. I, I love it so far. And I'm not going to lie. My bottom hurts a lot right now because I'm my body's just not conditioned to being on a hard seat like that and that seat is indeed really really hard all right so um I hope you guys have been following along with what I'm doing if not if you're one of those people who just likes to listen while you're doing something else uh I'm putting my weekend sticker down so again, I love this kit. I knew I was going to get it right away for back to school because I was like, again, I do not care if my back to school is for a college person. <laughs> I don't care. I think it's awesome. So um, let's see. So, oh, I love that there's this first day sticker on here. How am I just now noticing this? That is adorable. And I love the way that it's lettered. Okay. So we're gonna do the sidebar situation. I think I'm gonna do the half box like I did last week. I was gonna put like the highlight of the week here. I haven't gotten to it yet because I'm still in this week. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do the same thing. Let's use, I might use one of these patterned boxes over here. I might just use this black one. That'll work just fine. And I wanna get started on this stuff for during the week. I also pulled a bunch of different planner Kate stickers so that I didn't have to spend a lot of time flipping through books, finding things that I knew I was going to just go ahead and try to use for the week anyway. So first up, let's do videos. There's my sampler. I was like, that thing disappeared. So I'm going to use these play buttons from Planner Kate. I think that those are so freaking cute. And now I'm, now I'm dropping stickers. Her stickers are very repositionable, so sometimes they don't stay very well on the sticker books because they're not really meant to stay there for a long time. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this sticker. So the schedule for this week is going to be this plan with me that you are watching, and then a daily plan with me on Wednesday, and then the September plan with me for Friday. I cannot believe that we were planning for September. I actually sat down last night and um, started doing some pre-planning, like putting down sticky notes and things like that for September because there's, there's a lot going on in that month for us. And before I forget, I am using this Sharpie pen in the medium tip size. I've really been loving this. It just works well on everything to include directly on the paper for um, plum paper because you know this paper is extra picky. All right, so that's going to be the daily plan with me. And then Friday, the September plan with me. That's it so far. <laughs> okay. So one of the other things that I wanted to get done, and this is gonna be another one of those weeks that just doesn't have a whole lot on paper just yet. I feel like that's how last week went, and then I ended up adding in some things throughout the week, and I think that that's just going to be okay for me. 
So what I want to do is put in the meetings for work. And I did grab a couple of meeting stickers. I actually only have two. Not really sure why I grabbed a third. Although I'm not going to lie, this past week, Monday morning, I went into work and I had my usual two meetings. By Monday lunchtime, I had, was it nine or ten meetings? And not all necessarily meetings. Some of them were interviews because I do sit in on um, some of those. So that was... That was interesting, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so Wednesday's meeting is at 11, and then Tuesday's will be at two. I'm using a lot of yellow. I need to bring in some other colors here. That is definitely not straight. All right, and then let's get this first day sticker down because Nathan's first day of college is actually on Monday, which is awesome. So there we go. I think that's so cute. Will I get a picture of him? I highly doubt it. <laughs> I am like not even counting on that at all and it's okay so uh, for the daily plan with me I'm probably going to film that I really don't want to do it Tuesday evening it's probably going to be Wednesday or not Wednesday that's a Monday it's probably going to be Monday <laughs> so let's do that and we're just gonna try to pull in some other colors here now, I do have a goal to um, work out on the bike minimum of three times a week, plus other workouts. So I am going to mark those on the calendar. My issue is, and I don't know if any of you guys are the same way, I do not want to work out in the morning. It just does not work out for me. Reason being is it's the whole like hair washing thing and having to deal with that in the morning. I don't, I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with it at all. So I'm going to put that here. And then what I wanted to do, and I've done this before, let me get these other film stickers off of my fingers, is grab the check boxes, which I have lost that sheet of stickers. No, it's literally right here in my face. Um, <laughs> But I, I am just gonna, you know, I know what works for me. I don't like working out in the morning simply because of the whole getting ready situation. Oh, I love the way that that looks. That's cute. Okay. Um, so it's going to be in the evenings. That's just what I know that I can personally handle. So that's that for the majority of this first half of the week. I do want to get down the, I love the green in here. Just need to say that. Love the green laundry day for Wednesday and I think God, there's so much yellow okay let's just go with the green it's going to be green on green and it's going to be just fine but here is our midweek laundry time I may end up using these check boxes and to be totally transparent it may just be repeats of things that are in my daily planner and I don't actually care <laughs> So now that I've got that stuff down for during the day, where I will put my check boxes is probably right here, and I'll do the same for Wednesday. I love that they line up so well. I love, and I know that not every shop can do it, but I do love that shops are including not just one brand of planner in their lineup for everyone, you know? I think it's pretty cool, because not everyone's using the same thing. And even if it says plum paper or EC, and if you're not using either one of those, you probably have a planner that it'll work with. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. All right, let's move on to the second half of the week. Thursday, I don't have much of anything, but again, that could change. <laughs> that could definitely change. All right, so let's do trash day on Friday, and I think really limited on skinny labels. I mean, I know that there's these blue ones, but I kind of don't, those aren't my exact favorite. I like to use those uh, vertically in my planner, not horizontally. There is trash day for Friday. I've got my video up there. And I think the only other thing will be our movie time. So put that in here as well. I think Friday will be my day where I don't <laughs> work out. Um, I'm trying to ease my way into using the bike. And what I love about the Peloton app is that there's other workouts. So you don't just have to do the bike. They have other great workouts. So that's what I'm going to try to 
sprinkle in here and I want to do like a total of four to five days of working out with three being on the bike so what I did was grab these workout stickers from Planner Kate. They're the ones with like the little dashes around them. I absolutely love these. They're one of my favorites of hers. But I'm going to pair that with what I plan on doing for working out. So the sneakers would be for the workout and then the weights would be not necessarily for weights, but maybe cardio and weights. So we're going to do the bike tomorrow evening. And then let's see, I totally ripped that sticker. And then Wednesday will be the, mm, let's do weights or cardio, whichever it ends up being. And then Thursday can be the bike and then a break on Friday. And then Saturday can also be, Saturday I might make a bike day in the morning. And then Sunday can be like yoga and anything but the bike. <laughs> uh, that's, that's just how we're going to do it. Now on the weekends, I, I definitely want to work out in the morning. I love starting off my weekend days like that. So that definitely gives me my five days and I think we'll see how this works. And then I'll just write in what the workout ends up being on each of the stickers at the end of the week or after I do the workout, however it's going to work. All right. So Moving back on to Saturday, I do need to film Saturday evening. That was my intention yesterday. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. Did not get <laughs> to do that on Saturday because I started this whole thing with cleaning out the garage and then that took a lot longer than expected and it needed to be done to make space for the bike. <laughs> And that took longer and then I thought why not get crazy and totally rearrange your office that also took longer so I didn't end up doing a lot of the things that I said I was going to do and that's fine that's fine but now it leaves me here on Sunday having to catch up not my favorite thing <laughs> in the world all right the other thing that I want to get done on Saturday is plan pre-plan my week something along those lines Definitely going to do that Saturday. Actually, we kind of need to do that before <laughs> Saturday. So we're going to do that on Friday evening, probably while we're watching our movie. That's probably what's going to end up happening. Next up, I definitely do not want to forget that. I almost forgot that there was payday, and that is on Thursday for me. Best day ever. I think Monday is also payday for me for YouTube. I think it was supposed to be yesterday, but because it was a Saturday, they never, nope, it never happens. All right, and then let's do this clean house on Sunday. Nope, we're not doing that on Sunday. I just said we weren't gonna do that. <laughs> but we're gonna put that here for Saturday because we're trying to not put all the things on Sunday. And now I will sort of integrate some of these checklists because they're gonna look cute. It's gonna look all cute when the planner's all filled in, you know? All right, I'll put these on the same level and I might do the same for Sunday just because it's there. <laughs> I don't really have a good reason. All right, that is that. And then on f Sunday evening, oh, I like this time to clean better than clean house. We're gonna switch that out and hope that my planner doesn't get torn up. Ah, oh, awesome, okay. I just like this better, like space-wise. I think it's gonna look nicer. Yes. It's the little things. All right. <laughs> All right, and then Sunday prep. We're gonna do that, obviously, Sunday night. All right, there is that. I think, I think I've managed to get everything down. I like the way that this looks. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it looks when I fill everything in. I'm also thinking of, using these check boxes along the sidebar just to make it all matchy matchy. <laughs> uh, does that line up kind of? Yes, it does. Okay. I had to take a second look there for a minute, but it does line up. Perfect. Okay. I like the way that that looks. Okay. Now I think I'm actually 
I'm actually done. All right, so that is it, you guys. That's it for this week's plan with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed, make sure that you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you.